There's lots to do. Literally, what is that? That made it really real. Hello everyone and welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is January 17th. It is Monday and it is about 12 15 in the afternoon. I'm about to sit down and film the What's a Wednesday video, but I wanted to come just open the vlog really quick because I wanted to talk about what we had to do today this week, kind of all that. Uh, so this morning I actually did not package orders, but I have like my labels here. It is a holiday, so no mail is running. So I'm just going to package everything tomorrow. Um, I did get all of my sales sheets updated. I looked at my planner and planned my entire week. Um, Monday mornings, is that's really what I do is I sit down with my planner for at least 30 minutes and look at everything I have to get done today, write it all down. I showed you guys last week, I have different categories on my weekly spreads. I write every single thing for every single category, kind of like a brain dump that I have to get done just so it's a little more manageable and I know that I can just mark things off one by one and I feel accomplished doing that. So that is kind of how I start every Monday. Um, and I also uploaded my first vlog back today, which is super exciting. I need to go check on how it's doing. Um, but I'm just so excited to be back and I'm actually going to be filming what's a Wednesday video and a Friday video will also go up this week which is the last week for y'all so I'm super excited to kind of be back in the groove of things but I really just wanted to come open the vlog like I said I'm about to sit down and film the what's a Wednesday video it's like the first one I filmed in a really long time so super excited um I'm gonna film this and then probably grab some lunch and then we'll kind of see where the day takes us I think my main tasks for the day are going to be listing a bunch of stuff and then I want to measure and hang up the stack of stuff over here to my right. That is a flip lot that I processed last Friday, just so that's ready to photograph as soon as I'm done listing what I have. And then I'll probably, there's another flip lot that I have that will probably get processed this week or probably later on in the week, but we'll we'll get there. Um, I have a ton to do this week, uh, personal, wedding, reselling, YouTube, everything. There's lots to do. so. Let's just go ahead and start our week. I hope you guys are having a good day so far, whether you're watching this on a Monday or another day. Let's go ahead and just crush this week. I'm super excited. There are very exciting things happening this week, so you'll just have to stay tuned to find out what those are. But I'm going to go ahead and go film this video, and then I will talk to you guys later. Okay, you guys, it is Tuesday at 10 o'clock in the morning. Don't mind my dog squeaking his toy in the background. Look at him. That's what he's doing right now. So he'll be squeaking now and again. But I look a little rough because we have a pretty exciting day today. I need to go take a shower, wash my hair, and look presentable because tonight at 6 p.m. It is my very first uh, wedding dress appointment. So this is the first time we're going to look at any wedding dresses. I am excited. I am nervous. I have no idea. Well, I have been looking, so I kind of have an idea now. At first, I literally had no idea. Now, I kind of do have a small idea of what I want, but I'm still not 100% because obviously, I've never tried any on, so I don't really know, but I'm like worried because I'm like, how do you know it's the dress? Like, how are you supposed to know? People are like, you just know when you put it on, and I'm like, I don't think that's going to happen. So I picked out some at the place we're going to that um, I guess they're going to have for me. I don't really know. She said to go online and like pick out your favorites. And I was like, okay. So I picked out all the ones in our budget that were my favorite. I have a very, uh, not as, I mean, it's a pretty small budget for a dress considering what other people spend. Um, but like the dress is not like that important to me. So I did that. I'm I'm really nervous, but I'm excited. So I'm going to shower in a second, but I want to show you guys something because last week in the vlog, I actually showed you guys, um, the like layout of our reception space and we actually changed the entire layout. Um, so I wanted to kind of show you guys the new layout. Me and my best friend, um, kind of like cut out the old one and kind of made like a new layout so we could still have it like 
accurate spacing, but like we could change it around because we were not, we liked the old one, but like wasn't our favorite. There was a couple things I didn't like, so we like redid it and now I love the new one. So this is the new layout. You guys saw the old one last time with a square, like the tables in a, I think they were in a triangle before. Um, so everything is pretty much in the same spot. We moved the buffet to the other side uh, so that the drinks could have like a little more room. And then the entrance is obviously in the same spot. And then right by the, the entrance door, the gifts are still going to be there and the seating chart is still going to be there. And the tables are now in this kind of position. We are still in the corner. And then over here, we're going to have the um, cake table and slash dessert table. There's going to be cookies as well. Um, and then over here is the guest book and the like, what is it called? What is it called? Like the favors and stuff. And then over here is still the DJ. And then I really want to get giant marquee letters to go here because this is like our dance floor area and it would be a cute like background. But I don't know if it's going to fit in the budget. They're kind of expensive. They're like $50 a letter. So it's a little bit up there, but... This is now the layout we have. I think it looks better than the old layout because I think I like the symmetry of everything. Um, so I'm loving this. And then the buffet moves so there's more room. We're not sure if the buffet can actually move yet because there is a door here. It is not the fire exit. The fire exit's over here. But we're not sure if the buffet can go in front of the door. That door's not going to be used, but we're just not sure. So I'm waiting on the people at the venue to kind of email me back. But that was something I did over the weekend that I wanted to show y'all because I knew that I showed you guys the old one and I wanted to kind of update you guys with that. Um, I am waiting on a couple things to be able to send out my invitations. That's kind of the next big thing I have to do is send out the invitations. And then we have a few like other things to get done. We're working on a cake right now. We are having a trouble finding a place um, that's like close that also offers like you can taste it before you buy it. Like some of these places really expect you to like place a hundreds of dollars in cake and you've never tasted it in your life. So I'm just not about that life. So um, that's what we're doing now. But work wise, um, I looked at my planner this morning. I have to go ahead and edit the What's a Wednesday video because I won't be home tonight. So I'm going to get that done this morning or this afternoon and get it uploaded. I just have to put it on public tomorrow. Um, and then what I want to do is uh, continue to list. I got a ton of listings knocked out yesterday, but I still have um, some that I need to get knocked out. I did not get a chance to measure that stuff that was sitting over here, so I want to do that as well and get it hung up. And then after I hang all that stuff up and get it measured, I want to go ahead and process the other flip lot because I like to batch work shoes, like really big batch work shoes. So I want to combine that second lot shoes with the first lot shoes, but I don't like to do clothes like that because if it's two different flip lots, I like to keep them separate. So I photograph them separate. So that's what I'm going to do today. I think that's probably all I'm going to have time for. But my stop time will probably be between 5 and 5.30 just so I can have enough time to get to my appointment and everything. I only have three people going with me to my dress appointment. I We are not having like a bridal party or like groomsmen, bridesmaids, maid of honor, none of that. We're having none of that. Um... But I do have a few people that if I were having a bridal party and a maid of honor and stuff, that these would be my people. So um, those are the three people coming with me. It's my mom, my sister, and my best friend. Those are really the only three people I care about. And she's really my only friend because I only need one really good friend and I'm good, honestly. So um, that's what's happening. I'm excited but nervous. I'm going to go take a shower. And then after that, I'll kind of get started on my work tasks. I don't have like too much to do today, so I'm thinking I should be able to get all of it done. Probably going to start with editing the video just because that is probably the most important because it needs to get uploaded tomorrow and it's something I can't do tonight when I get home because I know I will not have enough time because the dress appointment is an hour. It starts at 6, so 7. Then we have to eat dinner. It's going to be like 8 before I even get a chance to like come up here and hit, to, like chill. So I'm just going to get everything done now so I can just chill when I get home and after I eat dinner. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Don't know what I'll film today. Probably film some, like, montage clips or something. But that is a quick rundown. I'm going to go take my shower and then I will talk to you guys probably later today, I'm assuming. Or tomorrow. Who knows? <laughs>
though it's wednesday but i'm sitting here my dog like freaks out and i go over and what the heck is that literally what is that i'm about to go hide in my closet because that's the door i can't leave what is that i literally am sitting here listing what is that bug what am i supposed to do it looks kind of like a wasp from this far, but why is it in here? Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Okay, should I go into the shoe closet and hide, or should I make a run for the door? I mean, it's literally right by the door. Okay. <laughs> I'm about to call my fiance. He might be asleep. Oh my god. What am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm going to call my fiance to rescue me. Do you see it? It 1,000% looks like a freaking wasp. Oh my god, I'm scared. I decided I'm making a run for the closet before I call him. Bruh, that's 1,000% a wasp. On my floor, in my office, where I'm sitting here, listing. I think my dog, hopefully he didn't get stung by it, because he was trying to eat it. Oh my god. I Can I make it out the door? I'm freaking scared. How am I supposed to work in here with the wasp? Let me call my dad. He's downstairs. Okay. Okay. Hold on. I'll be back. My fiance rescued me from the wasp. I was hiding in the closet. <laughs> okay, you guys. Now that the wasp fiasco has ended, it's been a little bit. It's 1230. I'm about to go figure out what there is to eat for lunch. But I wanted to come on and talk to you guys really quick just about um my bridal appointment last night it was fine um definitely not the experience i thought i was gonna get they didn't really have a lot of dresses for me to try on i did find one dress that i really really like but i didn't get that feeling that's like this is the dress like not that i even know what that feeling is but i just felt like i didn't get that feeling and the place that I went is like an off the rack bridal dress shop. So if you don't buy the dress you like, then there's a possibility it's not going to be there when you go back. And I had to basically figure out if I wanted to buy this dress, have seven days to return it and go find another one quick or leave it and risk it not being there if I can't find anything else. And then will I be like really upset if that one's not there? So it was something. And the lady that was helping me just wasn't really I don't know she wasn't like rude or anything but she was very like pushy on me getting this one dress and I was like kept saying over and over again like I had more dresses that I wanted to try on I just didn't get a chance because I didn't have them so I want to go look at my other options because there's so I've literally tried on a grand total of like five or six dresses and that's it like that's all I've tried on how am I supposed to know if I like this other style if I've never even tried one on so I don't know, but I ended up leaving the dress, and today I have researched like a million places. Sorry, I'm delisting and relisting with Vindu, you guys already know. But basically today I have been researching like different places to get dresses, um, off the rack places, like all these things to try to find other places to go. I found like maybe two. I have a very small budget for a dress and I need it quickly, so there's not a ton of places that I can really shop at. Um, so I don't know. I do really like the dress I saw yesterday, but it's not like, I, it's not like a dress where like, I can't stop thinking about it. I have had that before and there is something that I want in our wedding that I can't stop thinking about that I'm like, okay, maybe we should do it because I can't stop thinking about it. But this dress is like, it's not like I can't stop thinking about it. Like I forgot about it. Like I forget what it even looked like on me. So I'm like, is it really something I love that much? And I don't want to settle just because that's the only thing I can find in my price range and that I can get that I like for my wedding. So I don't know, but I'm going to be scheduling, well not scheduling, a couple places. I think one of them doesn't need an appointment and then the rest of them are closed today. Why are all the bridal gown places closed on Wednesdays? Like, I don't understand. Also, I woke up and definitely thought it was like Monday or Tuesday and it's actually Wednesday. Yeah, that's how that went. That's a quick rundown. Um, But that's what I was doing all morning. I did package one order. That's all I had an eBay sale. And then basically I've been researching wedding dress places. So 
not a super exciting morning but i'm now going to go grab a lunch in a minute but i'm working i also have been relisting all morning oh and i listed the rest of the stuff i had from yesterday i had like four i want to say four things left to list so i listed all of that and now i'm delisting and relisting a bunch of stuff that is over 60 days Vindu actually has like this thing where it shows you what things have been listed for 60 days or more. So I go through and I like to relist all of that. Um, and I want to get to the point where like all the stuff that's listed over 60 days I can relist. Every day I'll go in and do that. But I'm like really backed up now because I was really bad at doing it last year. So now that I'm getting caught up and everything's getting better, that's going to be like my plan going forward when everything is kind of caught up. Um, so I'm just going to realist as much as I can um and then I also was talking to some like DJ person who called me I don't know there's been so much going on but um I don't feel like I'm as stressed about wedding stuff because I feel like it's a little more manageable especially after talking to my best friend because she is the person that's going to be probably doing the most with me to help me manage everything so i'm feeling a little better and not as stressed about everything but still a little stressed about everything um but yeah this is going pretty good so far okay so today uh reselling wise i don't have a ton to do if i feel like it i'll probably photograph something if i don't i'll save it till tomorrow also tomorrow i need to edit a video today since my fiance is off he actually ran out to do a quick errand when he woke up and then when he gets home we have a little bit of cleaning to do um so I don't really think I'm gonna do much work today I am gonna like continue to relist and probably price some stuff from a flip lot and uh, I don't really know what else honestly so I'm gonna go ahead and go grab some lunch because I'm starving and then I'll probably talk to you guys later and kind of go through what else I'm gonna do today uh but I don't really plan on doing much work so I'm gonna leave it at that and I will talk to you guys later today uh maybe if we like go somewhere do something whatever or I will talk to you guys in the morning. Okay, you guys, it is Friday. It's 10.30 in the morning. It is January 21st, and I didn't film anything yesterday just because I was doing a ton of wedding stuff. I made a final decision on the DJ. We are in the process of ordering some mini cakes to try um, a place that I found near us that makes cakes. I have really made it a goal when planning the wedding to kind of support a lot of small businesses and smaller people um in this process like i've ordered some stuff off etsy i'm using a very small bake shop um and then i'm using a very small dj that is not like super acclaimed and has pretty good prices um and then obviously i'm using like my brother-in-law and my sister for um photography and it's just like kind of what i wanted to do with the wedding just because i like to support small businesses because myself i own one so it's just nice to be able to do that i do have a call with the dj that we've decided on in a couple weeks, me and my fiance will both be on that call. Um, but that is basically what I did yesterday. We also like discussed like the alcohol, and just a lot of stuff that had to do with the wedding. My mom was off of work, so we kind of did a ton of wedding stuff, which was absolutely needed, and it kind of makes me feel a little better. The only thing that I need to do that would make me feel a lot better is get my dress. And later today, I actually do have a dress appointment and then another place that I want to swing by after that appointment um and it's actually in Dallas so I actually live about 30 minutes from Dallas so um it's at four so my dad is gonna take me we're gonna leave here at two um and he's gonna take me to my mom's office which is in Dallas and then we're gonna go me and my mom to the appointment and it's like 15 I think minutes from her office so I'm excited and nervous about that of course like I was the first one except for my first one just didn't go quite like I had planned so hopefully this one goes better I think this one will go better um just because what I've read and seen and heard about this place definitely feels like it will go better there's also another place in Dallas back towards our house that um, I want to go after the appointment so at one o'clock I'm actually going to get ready and it's actually 10 30 already so I feel like I don't actually have that much time before one and before i have to get ready um what i want to try to get done before i have to get ready at one o'clock is i want to photograph the rack there's not a ton on it i want to do the rack plus the few jeans on the bottom um and then i want to get that all uh weighed and put in this box and then i want to get the other lot that i have processed over here measured and hung up and then I want to process the new lot and get that over here ready to get hung up after the other one gets photographed. So in two hours, I should be able to photograph that, weigh it, get it in the box, measure that stuff, get that on the rack. I might actually end up photographing that 
but I don't like to overwhelm myself with photographs so I may take a break and process this other one but as long as I get like the majority of those few things done I'll feel a little more accomplished because yesterday I didn't really do much at all I was going on a really good streak for the week and then I kind of just did, yesterday wasn't that great but that is really the plan for the rest of the day I don't know what I'll film today just because I will be very busy trying to get all this stuff done and I don't know how long this vlog is because I haven't even started editing it I will probably start editing it if I have time before I leave but I'm thinking I probably won't um I want to start at one o'clock I want to go take a shower and start getting ready um I'm not gonna wash my hair I'm going to just brush it and dry shampoo it up and hopefully it looks presentable um but I want to wash my body and just like be clean I don't know I feel weird the last one I went to my mom had to be in the dressing room with me because due to like COVID and stuff the store employee couldn't be in there with me but I'm pretty sure the one I'm going to later the store employee employee is in there with me which makes me just feel very awkward so I don't know we'll see but enough blabbing about nonsense I'm gonna go ahead and get started I will film updates montages whatever maybe come back later who knows but I will talk to you guys later okay just set up for photographs I'm about to photograph that rack and then I did also measure this stuff um and then i'm gonna photograph that like immediately after but i wanted to come on because i wanted to share with you guys my two really high price sales that i made in the what's a wednesday video from last week both got accepted one of them did get a case opened up but poshmark denied it because they said they didn't know they were women's shoes but they were listed in the women's category so they got denied. Both of my earnings got released, so I'm super excited. You guys know I have really bad luck with high price sales. Something goes wrong. Someone didn't read the description, whatever the case may be. But I'm so excited that both got accepted and my earnings were released. It was actually really fast, too, especially the Golden Goose sneakers. I got like a five star and everything. So, so excited. And I wanted to share with you guys because it was very exciting news. And now I'm going to get to photographing. Okay, you guys, I just uh, finished photographing everything and I actually already, uh, what is this called? What is this called? Weighed it and stuck it up here. I'm now really full up here. Um, so I can't really take much else. So I'm hoping I can sell through a couple of these lots or buy out a couple of these lots from my regular client. Also, my just like regular inventory is really empty. Plan on going to the thrift store here in the next couple weeks as soon as I get through all this inventory. This is a flip lot. Now that my desk is down, let me put my chair back. Um, this one right here is a flip lot that I need to process, measure, do all the things. Um, and then over here I have two Jomar boxes. And then I think maybe another Jomar box. Maybe I have three Jomar boxes here. I don't know. I need to like look through all that because some of that's needing to go to thread up. Some of it needs to go to the real real. Like, I don't even know. There's lots happening. There's also damages here that I need to take care of. So once I get through almost all this stuff, I will go to the thrift store again, which in the next week or two, all this should be gone through because I only have one more big flip lot on the way, I want to say. So I'm looking amazing and I have a bunch of photographs now on my phone that I need to put on my computer and list but I'm about to go actually take my shower so I can be ready early it is 12 45 right now but I'm gonna go take my shower and then it kind of fix my hair get ready get dressed just so I'm ready to go and um when I'm called to leave we can leave uh like I said it's 12 45 so I do have about an hour and 15 before we have to actually leave so I'm hoping I can get ready maybe have a quick snack because I haven't eaten lunch yet and I'm kind of hungry um and then that's kind of it I may uh start editing the vlog if I have time before we leave too my arm is shaking because my arm hurts holding this phone up but I'm gonna go do that I'm super glad I got through almost all the stuff I wanted to get get done and the only thing I wanted to get done that I didn't get done is process this new flip flop but I had a feeling I wasn't gonna have time and I was gonna run out of time so I'm totally okay with not getting that done but next week we will focus getting that flip flop done getting all those shoes right there done and then I'm gonna add all the shoes from this other lot into those two boxes as well and photograph all that at once and then my main focus will be finishing that finishing on the inventory and getting ready to go to the thrift store for the first time in so long I'm so excited but I'm gonna go I will talk to you guys I don't know when but later all right guys it is Saturday it is bright and early in the morning it is 7 30 I woke up so early this morning and could not 
go back to sleep. So I've been in my office for a little bit, um, just like starting to edit the vlog and do a couple things. But I did film a clip last night, but I ended up like hating it because the lighting was terrible and it just wasn't good. But yesterday we did end up going to a dress appointment and we ended up only having to go to one dress place because I ended up finding the dress that I wanted to wear and I'm I've woken up and I'm still just as excited I was, as I was yesterday so I am just I'm just I'm ready now I feel like that made it really real like I get I feel like it wasn't real until I picked out my dress and I like have it in my possession obviously I have to get it like altered and everything but it's like in my possession and I can literally go look at it whenever I want and I'm just I'm so excited um but of course I'm not going to show you guys um until after the wedding or like probably after maybe a little bit before it depends on like what I'm filming around the wedding and everything um but my fiance like does watch my videos sometimes so I don't want to show you guys and then he sees it because we are keeping everything a secret until we do our first look on our wedding day so I'm excited it's I literally have it in my possession and all I want to do is show the whole entire world like I don't know but I'm so excited and I have to say I did go over my price range just I mean it wasn't terrible um, I wanted to stick to, I guess I can share. I don't mind sharing. Um, I wanted to stick to $500 and under, which for a wedding dress, that is a little hard to find, uh, just cause that's a really cheap price. Um, so that's what I was trying to stay at. I had a feeling I wouldn't stay there. Um, and I ended up the place we went to, uh, which was called Brilliant Bridal and it's in Dallas. Um, if you guys are like in the Dallas DFW area, um, I would highly recommend Brilliant Bridal. We had someone helping us named Megan and she was absolutely amazing. And it was just a whole different experience from the other one I had on Tuesday. I got to try on so many more dresses. It was such a better experience. The place was gorgeous. It matched my aesthetic so well. It was just all around absolutely amazing. One of the best days I've ever had in my life. Um, and I would highly recommend going there. Their prices are really good. It ranges low prices all the way. I think they have up like nothing's above. They say, I think they said nothing's above like $3,000 and most of their stuff is under $2,000. Um, which obviously that's not what I spent. But I wanted to stick 500 and under, which was already really hard to find a place that even had dresses in my price range. And they definitely had dresses in my price range. Um, but I tried on this one dress, which is the one I picked, that was definitely above my price range. But they sell discounted brand new wedding dresses. So it was discounted to what it actually was to begin with. So I got a really good deal. It was like half off in the end um, after they do discounts because all their dresses are like brand new, never worn still with the tag on it from designers um, and then they mark it down. So in the end it was like 50% off and I still stayed pretty close to my budget. It was just a little bit over. Um, but I also added something like an accessory type thing. I don't want to say it just in case my fiance is watching because I don't want him to know zilch about it. Um, so I added a little accessory uh, that I'll show you guys, but that also cost a pretty penny and I'm a little bit I could have saved a little bit of money, but it just needed it. It needed it. You guys will see. Um, but I'm so excited. Um, I don't know if I said, but it's 7 30 in the morning. Um, and I woke up at five o'clock <laughs> this morning and I've been up since five o'clock. So I'm sounding a little bit like my voice is weird and I'm using like my lamp and my computer for light. The sun is slowly peaking right now, but um, like I said, I've been in here. I'm about to edit this vlog. I just wanted, I wanted to come on and end it real quick, but I wanted to share with you guys that I did find my dress and I have felt a very, I mean, a weight has like lifted off of me because that was such a big stressor for me because I had to get one quick because the alterations will take a couple months. And as you guys know, the wedding is in a few months. Uh, we actually are at 98 days today. So we're at a little tad over three months and it's becoming more and more manageable every day, um, especially getting the dress and finalizing details and starting decorations and just 
everything. It's becoming more manageable and the invitations will be going out this week. So I'm just, I'm so excited. It's gonna be the best day of my life and I can't wait to share with you guys. I don't know exactly how much I will share, show or film, whatever that day. I guess let me know down below if you guys want to see the wedding day stuff. We do have a very jam packed day, so I don't know how much time I'll have to film, but let me know if you guys are interested in seeing anything like on the wedding day or whatever. I can have my fiance film his perspective too. I think it might be fun if you guys are interested. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog. I am so excited. Next week we're gonna be so productive because we were really productive this week uh, and I feel like next week we're gonna be even better. Um, I went through like my to-do list and I basically got done 80% of everything I had on there, which is absolutely insane and amazing. So next week, our to-do list will be actually pretty short. We may go to the thrift store and like, I'm here for it. So hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next week.